Hey everybody, this is Colin from ECS Tuning, and today I'm going to show you how to install our new clutch bleeder block for the six-speed Volkswagen transmissions. Your stock bleeder block is designed with a dampening system to provide more comfort. Our new ECS clutch bleeder block is designed without that system to provide more aggressive feel when you're shifting. Included in this kit, you'll get the ECS Tuning clutch bleeder block, two retaining clips, and two new O-rings. For this installation, you're going to need a large pair of pliers, a T20 Torx driver, a small flathead screwdriver, an 8mm box wrench, and a couple shop rags. To start off this installation, use your big pliers to take off the big clamp on your intake. Next, remove the two T20 Torx screws on each side of the intake. For this video, I removed the battery to open up some more room in the engine bay so you can see what I'm doing. Although it's not required for this installation, it does give you a lot more room if you need it. To locate your clutch bleeder block, look in front of your shifter linkage cables and you'll find it on top of the transmission. Next, take a small flathead screwdriver and pull up on the wire clips. Now you can pull your lines out. Next we're going to replace the O-rings on the clutch slave cylinder and on the clutch line. Note the side that has a groove set in further than the other side. The side that's set in further is going to slide onto the transmission and the shorter side is going to accept the line. Next take your new wire clips and install them in the block. Before we bleed the clutch, we need to make sure we have plenty of fluid. If it can use some fluid, fill it up. Using your 8mm box wrench, go ahead and crack your bleeder screw about an eighth of a turn. With your bleeder screw open, you're going to want to hand press down on the clutch pedal five or six times very slowly up and down. Now go ahead and close your bleeder screw. If your pedal still feels soft, go ahead and repeat this process as many times as needed. Finally, we're going to reinstall the dust cap that was on our OEM clutch bleeder block. With your new bleeder block in, you can reinstall your intake. We've made a lot of improvements over the OEM clutch bleeder block. First of all, we made ours out of billet aluminum, which is a lot stronger and will never crack like the OEM black plastic one. Second of all, we included a one-way bleeder screw valve, which means you don't have to have the hassle of finding a second person to help you bleed your clutch system. My name's Colin from ECS Tuning, and I'll see you next time.